Indeed staff told work from home as worker may have been exposed to coronavirus. Workers at the Dublin offices of tech recruitment firm Indeed were told to work from home after it emerged a worker in their Singapore office may have been exposed to the coronavirus. The company employs more than 1,000 people in Ireland and staff were informed in an email yesterday that a worker in Singapore may have been exposed to coronavirus after their family members visited a facility caring for a coronavirus patient. The health and safety of our employees is Indeed's chief concern, the company said in a statement to the Irish Examiner. While there are no confirmed cases of infection, out of an abundance of caution for the health and safety of our employees, we have asked all employees in Singapore, along with anyone who has recently visited our Singapore offices, to work from home until February 17. Since some employees who visited Singapore have recently visited our Sydney and Dublin offices, we are asking all employees in the Dublin and Sydney offices to work from home until we have received confirmation. Business continues uninterrupted across the globe. Separately, Apple's main iPhone maker Foxconn got the green light yesterday to reopen two major plants in China closed because of the coronavirus and aims to resume production even though only 10% of the workforce has returned so far, a source told Reuters. The two factories together make up the bulk of Foxconn's assembly lines for Apple's iPhones and any further delays to production following the enforced closures are likely to hit global shipments. Efforts to contain the spread of coronavirus have also impacted the Mobile World Congress due to take place in Barcelona this month. Japanese wireless carrier NTT Docomo and Sony Corp have pulled out of the Congress because of the outbreak. Amazon, South Korea's LG Electronics, Swedish equipment maker Ericsson, and US chipmaker Nvidia have already withdrawn from MWC, which had more than 100,000 visitors and upwards of 2,400 exhibitors in 2019. For more on this story, visit the news article link.